Hey there, Terrence here. Today I'm going to show you how to use and set the mirror lockup on your Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, what I'm going to show you in terms of setting it up should work on most, if not all, Canon cameras. It might be in a slightly different spot, but for the most part it'll, uh, it'll work on a lot of them. I've done this on my 4DD as well in the past, so it should be the same technique. If you're not sure what mirror lockup actually does, let me explain it. When you press your shutter release right now, what happens is the mirror in your DSLR flips down, which exposes the sensor. The sensor then captures the photo, and the mirror flips back up. All of that happens very, very quickly when you press your shutter release. However, mirror lockup breaks that up into two phases. In the first phase of mirror lockup, when you press the shutter release, what's going to happen is the mirror will open up as usual, your sensor will be exposed, but it stops there. Nothing else happens. For your picture to be taken, the shutter release has to be pressed a second time. And in that case, that's when the exposure is taken on the sensor, and then the shutter, or sorry, the mirror closes back up. So you have to press your button twice to take a photo. Now you might be wondering, why the heck would I want to do that? The main reason you want to do that is to improve stability of your shot and get a crisper photo. So when you're taking a shot where you need a lot of stability, so you want to get a very, very clear macro shot or a very, very clear landscape, when you press the shutter release, even though that camera might be completely steady and on a tripod, that movement from the mirror opening and closing creates very, very minimal vibration. And that vibration will actually transpose into distortion in your photo. So when the mirror is locked up and it's in the open position and completely locked there, when the shutter release is pressed the second time, the exposure will be taken and the mirror would not have moved to take that photo. That eliminates the slight vibration that would have created uh, when the mirror opened up and will give you a much clearer picture. This is used really for landscape photographers who are using a tripod or anybody who's using a tripod and want to take a very, very, very clear, clear, crisp photo. Great also for macro photos because when you're zoomed in, any slight vibration or movement, no matter how minuscule, will impact the quality of the photo. So very, very useful for that. It's also useful in a very special circumstance. Uh, if you're taking some unique animal photos where you might have a camera and a tripod and a, uh, a trigger release, cable release for your camera and you're further back and you're letting the animals get close to the camera, any sound might scare them. And, and as you know, when you take a photo and you hear the mirror open and close, it makes a sound. So what you'd want to do is have your camera set up for that. You have the, uh, the remote trigger for the release but you press it once to get the mirror locked up so that when they get close and you want to take that final photo you can press the button and then you'll get the shot before the animal is startled. They will be startled on the uh, the closing of the, the mirror which happens each time you take a shot but at least you'll be able to take that shot without any, uh, any disturbance and uh, get a good animal shot that way. So let's take a look and see how you actually set this up. First thing you want to do is turn your camera on, so I've already got mine on. And you will press the menu button. Menu will come up. Let me just maybe zoom out so we get a little more clear on the photo. So, if you will notice, you have your menu, and you have all the different options up on the top. And using your uh, control knob here, you can go to the various options. Now on the 5D Mark II, you want to go to the orange little camera icon just near the end. On other Canon cameras, you just want to find the ones that have C.FN1234, could be various numbers of them, and look for that. In the 5D Mark II, you want the auto drive focus, so it's a group of functions number three. Press enter. you notice along the bottom, there'll be a bunch of different uh, parameters you could set. And it shows you each of those parameters whether it's turned on or not. So you'd want to scroll in this case to number six 
and I already had it on but it will be defaulted to disabled so it's going to be highlighted in blue you're going to press the button on your control knob here rotate it to enable press the button now it's blue and you see it's set to 1 and 6 and you can just press the menu button a few times to get out now if I were to take a shot now you can hear the first click which is now open mirror and it's locked now by pressing it again it's just taken the photo so that's how you set up the mirror lockup and that's what the benefits are for it hopefully you found this useful uh, again really used for specific kinds of photography but if you're doing tripod photography with the landscape or macro highly highly recommend you you do this and I do recommend you use a uh, cable release, trigger release for your photo as well so you don't have your hand touching the camera and creating uh, movement as well. Uh, that's it for today and I'll get you some more videos soon.